Hello everyone. So in this video, so we'll be seeing the difference between SAN and NAS. That is basically the block-based data and the file-based data. So storage consists of different um, technology of data. That is SAN and NAS. The first one is storage area network, which is a block-based data, and NAS network attached storage which is basically a file based data so the basic difference between these two are the block based data are kind of sequence of bytes at a fixed length and also is this a single piece of file or it may be a whole file and this block based data is good for high iops and low latency and this is basically associated with the structured data and when it comes to a file based data which is NAS and this is kind of a unit of information it may be defined by an application or it may be defined by any users and also this is only useful as a complete file so with a single piece we will not be able to get a complete file and this is good for too large for database apps and high IOPS and this file based data are associated with the unstructured data so that is basic difference between a file and block then let's move on to an nas so what is nas nas is basically an network attached storage where a network is attached with the storage and there are types of nas in which scale up and scale out are there so scale up is basically the legacy method and scale out is the advanced method the normal legacy nas scale up architecture will have a controller it will have an data drives and so it will have different controllers and uh, different data drives set up differently so when it comes to an increased number of uh, data then you will need to add more controller more data drives which is a uh, kind of a scale up and that is a legacy model so when it comes to the scale out so we just need to add a new node and you can just go upon that you can add any number of nodes that you need and it just scales out just online without any interruption so you do not have to add any additional controllers so you just need to add only the node the node will have everything that needs for a scale out so that's the difference between a typical legacy scale up and scale out architecture. So the Isilon architecture is completely based out on a scale out architecture. So where you can just add up nodes and scale up the capacity to 1000 plus petabytes. And all nodes belong to one particular unified cluster. And this is like single point of management. And you can add a node and it adds the storage it adds compute and it adds the bandwidth it adds ram so everything that needs for a scale out it gets added to a single node so let's see brief about this Isilon architecture in the next video